Marla, and I want to take you guys back to like our first PLS 100 class. Because in that class, I remember one of the first stories that we were taught was Norman Borlaug and the Green Revolution, because that was kind of the birth of agriculture. So to refresh your memory, Norman Bur Borlaug was uh, an American microbiologist. In 1944, he was sent to Mexico to help develop a new wheat variety because the varieties they had were lodging all the time. There was, they were played with disease and they were really poor yielding. So they weren't able to feed their people. They weren't able to contribute to the national, um, to the global market as far as wheat was concerned. So he was sent down there as a geneticist and he was, his job was to breed a new variety to, to that was high yielding, wouldn't lodge and would improve, improve everything that they were going through. So after years and years of research, he was finally able to produce this variety. Um, his work became known as Green Revolution, which is what we've always learned. And that was kind of the birth of biotechnology and GMOs. Well, it, that's not GMO, but it led to GMOs in the future. So he won the 1970 Nobel Peace Prize for his work. So when I think of the future of agriculture, I think to feed the world, because as it was mentioned in the earlier presentation, according to the United Nations, um, the global population will be 9.8 billion people by 2050, and that's a big task for us to try to feed in our agriculture industry. I mean, right now, we have 2 billion people less than them, We're still, we still have people starving around the world. Um, and I think the key to that will, it will be like, you know, mechanics say, mechanization and stuff like that, but I think the main thing is plant varieties through biotechnology, through GMOs. We could develop better yielding varieties, we could develop crop resistant varieties, we could develop disease resistant varieties, we could develop anything we want if we use this and we could end up feeding the world easily. Um, so according to the Cornell Alliance of Science, GMO crops through biotechnology have improved our yields by 22%. So that's a small change, but it's going to need a bigger change if we want to feed the world by 2050. So the main reason we're not producing these varieties is because the public is skeptical. So you guys need to tell your neighbors not to be scared of GMOs because there's no reason to be. They're the most regulated and the most tested products on the market. Um, and to end, I wanted to end with two quotes by Mr. Borlaug himself. So his first quote was, food is the moral right of all who are born into this world. So he believes everybody has the right to food. Everybody who's born has the right. So that's why he really fought for creating a new variety of wheat that will be sufficient. Um, his other quote was, there are no miracles in agriculture production. So there are no miracles, everything is worked for. You work for anything that you, that you make. And with this, I wanna challenge you guys, with your degrees, what difference will you guys make in the agriculture industry? Thank you. Okay.